the Mazda Atenza has been one of the most celebrated uh, cars on Kenyan roads today. However, uh, they have become too common, too cliche. Uh, everywhere you turn, you see an Atenza. And that brings forth the question, what can I, which other car can I have in place of an Atenza that still re retains the style, uh, the performance, and also uh, value for money? And that is why today we are bringing you a car that ticks all the boxes uh, and a car that has evolved over uh, over time. Currently in Kenya today we are in its sixth generation. It has been loved by many and hated by few. However, uh, the saloon version has not been the favorite to many. It has had a rich history which we are going to talk about in this review. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2015 Subaru Legacy BN series. As usual, Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your conversologist serving you this week's dose of uh, Canvasita Mo Eriko Kabi, Eriko the CK. Do follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, you, we value your feedback about some of these reviews that we do. So uh, we would like to you to share your sentiments about this particular car after the review on our social media handles, Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Whenever we talk about the Subaru legacy, we, uh, we associate it with the rich history that Subaru has had, a reputation of performance and reliability, and also affordability. However, the BN series has, has come as a sibling after six uh, predecessors, because this is, the cur this is currently the sixth generation. And as per 2014, we saw a complete refreshed design of the Subaru Legacy uh, Saloon. However, still in 2014, we lost the Subaru Legacy Wagon. Now, the Subaru Legacy Wagon was replaced by the Subaru Livog, which uh, by now, if you ask me on a personal opinion, did the Livog really replace the Legacy Wagon? I, I wouldn't think so because it's a totally different car. What comes close to the Subaru Legacy BN, which is the saloon version of it, is uh, the Subaru Outback BS series because they even share the front end. And uh, you can tell Subaru's design language, modern day Subaru lost the frames on the doors and all that but i can attest that okay according to me this car has evolved to be a mature car because the previous generations of the subaru legacy uh the the g4 which is the saloon version has been that of uh, it's driven by boys who are rowdy and drive carelessly however what we have seen with the uh, with the bm series and the bn series now the bm try to become a bit mature but it didn't look as good as the bn series because now the bn series does not only look mature it looks more stylish and more refined now that you are done with the car and uh, let me let me speak something uh, with regard to you know the personal preferences on this car now the legacy has also has always been a household name but within the six generations i think this is the best looking subaru legacy of them all it might not have the tradition of frameless doors but it is arguably the best looking and that is why it gives the mazda atenza a run for its money yeah because even the price tag is around the same uh, uh, point but now talking about it being uh, i'm going to allude so much the mazda tensa because this is the closest alternative you guys have asked us uh, come and see mazda tensa what else can i buy so now that we are talking about uh, we are trying to compare these two cars let's look at what powers up this car because this car came only Okay, with the BR series, uh, with the BMBR series, uh, we had a couple of engines, but with this one, it only had two engines. So let's see what powers up this car. Under the hood of the Legacy BN uh, G4 is a 2.5 litre uh, naturally aspirated FB25 engine. Now what else do you get? Because just like the Outback, uh, the BS series of the Outback, it comes with only two engine options. So the other engine option that you get on this particular car is the EZ36, which is uh, 
a 3.6 liter engine by Subaru that is still naturally aspirated. So on this particular one, you do not get a turbocharger. However, that does not mean that these engines are not powerful because they give you a very good punch of power. And also these engines are big and they are reliable as well. Because I always say, um, you know, whenever you have a turbo added to your engine, it increases a component that might also increase the chances of it breaking down. So the FB25 is among the new generation of Subaru engines that instead of having the traditional timing belt that has been trademark of Subaru engines that have been, you know, uh, they have they have always been that worry of uh, once I hit 100 kilometers, 100,000 kilometers, there might be chances of uh, the timing belt snapping. So on this new generation of Subaru engines, we have uh, timing chains yeah so it makes them more reliable and the other thing i have to talk about when it comes to the reliability of these engines is that they are still hardy yeah and they still uh, have retained the flat four arrangement so it's a boxer engine meaning it has a lower center of gravity that improves this car's stability and that is why subarus will always be stable because their engines have a lower center of gravity meaning you can corner better now mated to this engine is where now this car you know, might score a little bit lower compared to the Mazda Tenza. Yeah, because the gearbox on this car is a Lineatronic CVT transmission. Yeah, the Atenza has an automatic which is basically better to drive and more reliable. But this one makes the Subaru feel a bit not, you know, not really exciting to drive. So on this we have a Lineatronic CVT transmission and now talking about the drivetrain what makes now where does this car win against the Atenza now this one comes standard with all-wheel drive yeah Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive meaning that you can corner better and it can handle better even on wet roads it does not have as much understeer as the Mazda Atenza and Apple uh, it loses on the gearbox but it uh, does go higher in terms of uh, maneuverability and also the driving uh, hand the driving and handling aspects of this car now let us talk about how do you maintain this engine well the fb25 is a very reliable motor uh, it is big it has uh, you know it's big and it's naturally aspirated uh, and it's uh, an engine that can basically withstand a beating but uh, for it to be reliable you need to feed it with the correct uh, lubricants now these are very easy to maintain engine uh, uh, you just make sure that you observe the routine service, changing the oil, uh, changing, uh, you know, the air cleaner and the oil filter. Uh, and the oil rating for these 2015 cars is you can either use oil that is rated SN or SN+. plus. So that's a maintenance bit that you need to know about this particular car. Before we talk about the side profile, please remember this car runs on a CVT transmission. So make sure that you service it every 40,000 kilometers using genuine CVT. CVTF. Most uh, genuine OEM CVTF will be ideal for this car's transmission. On Mata's side profile of this car, it sits on size 17 uh, wheels eh? and uh, alloy rims do come in a standard on the Subaru Legacy uh, BN series. Also, what you need to note uh, comparing to the Mazda Tensor is that it has evolved to have a significantly long wheelbase that gives it, you know, ample legroom uh, on the rear row of seats because that's also another very unique selling point of this car against the Mazda Tenza. It has a better legroom and it also have it also has better features on the rear row of seats compared to the Tenza. But we'll talk about that when we get to uh, the interior. And at the back here, uh, what we have here is uh, you see if you look at these lights, they do look uh, forestish, outbackish. Yeah, so Subaru's design language very well expressed here on the rear. Then uh, you have the badging Legacy before, before being a, the denotation for the saloon version of the Legacy. Also, uh, here we have Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive badge. And now, uh, let's talk about practicality of this car. The other winning point of this car, again, is the Mazda Tenza, is the boot space that this car has. It has, you know, superb it has you can carry you can haul quite a lot of luggage in this particular car so let's check out the boot space so the boot space is you know it's immense it is huge you can haul a lot of luggage in this space right here and also 
The other thing about this car that really has to be noted is that in spite of having a very big boot space, well, most cars you will put in luggage there and it will tend to swallow the rear tires. But this one has very decent clearance as well. That is another unique selling point of this car. Yeah, it has it arguably has better clearance compared to the Mazda Atenza. In fact, you can survive with this car without installing aftermarket coil springs. So now that we normally do our boot space, uh, today we yeah, since the car has huge boot space uh, that could typically fit two Mbuguas, so today we are even bringing a bigger SI unit for boot space. Somebody who is almost twice my height. Let's see if he can fit in this boot space. To see how much luggage you can actually haul in this boot. Younger with a D. So with me on set is uh, this uh, Goliath of a human. He's almost two, 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 twice my height and uh, twice my width. So Nganga with a D. <laughs> Put, just go, go in, go in, my brother, go in, go in. Let's see how much luggage you can actually fit in the boot of this uh, Subaru Legacy. Now, you can see there is still ample space left for one Mbugua. So let's see if we can stuff another Mbugua in this boot. So Mbugua, kuja, kuja, kuja tu ingie ndani bana. Kuja tu ingie ndani. <laughs> so you cannot only fit a nganga with a D in this boot, who is, again, almost twice my size. You can also add on <laughs> the <laughs> SI unit. <laughs> Sir. Uh, you can also add the SI unit for boot space. Richard Mbugua, inside that boot and comfortably lock it. I am a jama, kain yuko dani. Now, after that boot test, you can see how big, how immense the boot space in this car is. And I told you, it's arguably bigger. In fact, now it's, not, it's no longer arguably. It's undisputably bigger than that of the Mazda Atenza. So now let's go in and see what this car features inside and see if it will beat the Mazda Atenza inside. Then later we can take a drive with the boys and uh, let's hear their comparisons as well. The illusion you get when you sit in the Subaru Legacy uh, BN series is space, space, space and style. It's very simplistic, but sitting in it, you know, literally feels like you're seated in uh, a Subaru Outback. There is so much similar. It has a huge infotainment screen. Now, this one is well positioned, even compared to that of the 2015 Mazda Tenza, which is, you know, which is a bit higher and does not, you know, really look like it fits in. This one is slender and flashes through the dashboard. Also, uh, the gear lever is also very well neatly aligned. Uh, we have an electronic handbrake and here you have heel start assist, something that the Atenza does not have. Uh, heel start assist assi is, is, that, is this feature that, you know, it prevents you from rolling back whenever you're, you know, on a very steep uh, slope or a steep incline and there is uh, traffic. So heel start assist will let you even uh, hold up the car even without using the brake. So it's, it's a very convenient feature. The other thing that you have to notice is the steering controls, which are standard in the Subaru Legacy uh, BN series. You have uh, also, you do not only have the infotainment controls, you also have the driving mode controls. You can, uh, this car has, you know, it has uh, three driving modes. It has intelligent, it has sports, and it has sports sharp. So intelligent is the most economical driving mode. The sports is, uh, it holds up the revs, Kidogo, giving it uh, extra oom for of performance. Then sports sharp is the, you know, the, the, the performance oriented driving mode in this car, which makes it, you know, revs hold up much more faster. But, you know, the driving thrill is greatly reduced because it features a CVT. On the steering wheel, uh, you also have cruise control, which you can set using these buttons over here. And uh, you also get paddle shifts. However, the setback with having a Lineatronic CVT is that uh, the paddle shifts are only there to simulate a feeling that you're driving, you know, you're shifting gears. However, with the CVT, you're actually not shifting gears. And I keep on telling guys, in fact, this is the biggest, uh, you know, turn off with these modern Subarus. Having a, a CVT transmission and paddle shift literally does not make any sense at all. However, that does not mean that this car is uh, any lower uh, compared to the Atenza. You also get traction control. It also features fuel saving technology like idling stop in spite of having a big engine that is 2500cc. 
The other thing that you really have to note about this car and Subaru's safety nature is that this car has Subaru's eyesight. Subaru's eyesight uh, combines a series of technologies like uh, lane departure assist, uh, also autonomous emergency braking and even uh, anti-collision uh, prevention. You cannot even uh, run over a pedestrian in this car if eyesight is on because that is where autonomous emergency braking comes in. And talking about all these safety features, uh, the Mazda Atenza does have an impressive safety rating, but guess what? The Subaru Legacy has a, a safety rating that is at par with the uh, Mazda Atenza. It has a five-star safety rating. Comes with driver, passenger airbags, and curtain airbags as well. So making it a very safe car. In matters convenience when it comes to the interior, the driver gets memory seats. So you don't have really to, if, if your wife uses your car or your husband uses the car, you do not have to manually reset uh, the seating position in your car because the car will do it for you. It has memory seats. The other amazing feature about this car is that it has heated seats on the front and uh, heated seats on the rear as well. However, these, these are very convenient feature for people who live in Kimende, Kinungi, Limuru, Elbagon, very cold areas. For me, uh, I've really never come to appreciate heated seats. We are in Africa, Hakuna Matara. Sawa sawa, our temperatures are quite good. Also, this car has very convenient uh, storage compartments. You have one here in the center console. Uh, you also have uh, all these Again, you have another one here and you also have one to store your sunglasses when you're taking that trip off town. So now with that, I think I'd mentioned about the rear seats having incredible legroom and we are going to test that out when we are driving out with this car as we talk uh, with the boys about how this car handles in the road and even how it feels. Uh, my bet for this is this car might actually be better than a Mazda Tenza. What do you think that the boys will think? Or what do you think? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to kindly share Gary. Welcome to this edition of Conversations uh, Team Review. Yes, to make Caribbea. To make and to connect to Conam Geni. Yes, yes, I'm a Zoe, I'm a Zoe, I'm a Zoe, I'm a Zoe, Nanga with a what? A D. Nanga with a D. D for what? D for <laughs> donkey. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get straight to the point. Yes, this car I want to compare it to a Mazda Tenza. Mm -hmm. So I'm now not a Gary. Comparing it to the Atenza. First of all, the thing I want us to talk about, Nganga is very tall. Yes. Uh, let's talk about legroom. Mm -hmm. Nganga, what do you think about the legroom? I think it's too <laughs> <laughs> well, so And remember, yeah. Nganga is saying uh, what I'm he's saying, too. Yes. but I'm seated comfortably in front of him. And I'm not short, okay? We have the discussion with you. Th that is and arguable. Who is that, that is debatable. What uh, I know is the shorter the guy, yes, let me not call yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm seated comfortably. Yes. And Nganga is... Nganga, how tall are you? 6'2". Six two. Six two. Yes. I'm 5'7". Uh, 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 I'm watching, watching with Jinga. No, okay. What, what, what I think <laughs> the best thing, what we need to talk about is... Yes. You know, I, I was really fascinated by the boot space in this car. Yes, yes. And the legroom. Yes. In fact, Apple Mazda Atenza banaina lose subui na mapema. I love you know these guys who own Mazda Atenzas. Apparently, especially the diesel ones, they think they are the fastest cars in the world. No, they are not. Excuse me, to pimp to my. I'm yeah. I'm just being very so honest. So we are going to do zero to zero to hundred. Yes, yeah. we've done a Mazda Atenza. We have done a Mazda Atenza before. So we'll see what happens. A another thing, two point five liter, yes. very reliable engine. Mm -hmm. My only problem with this car is the gearbox. Yes. Yes. The linearonics. That's where it loses. Yeah, that's where that's the only point where this car loses against the Atenza. But yes. in all other aspects, what do you think, Mugwa, in terms of looks? How do you think this car looks compared to the Atenza? I know, I know, Mugwa is a Mazda fan boy. A Mazda fan, definitely. Uh -huh. But according to the review, uh -huh. uh, this one is scoring a lot of points. Not like unlike the Mazda. Starting with the leg room for me, I'm short, yes, but my legs are nearly straight. Mukambi is seated comfortably. Very, so. extremely comfortable. And uh, to add on top, with all this leg room, and there's also boot space, 
Yes. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. It's a very big boots. So I, according to me, the looks it looks nice, and the man has got a lot for me. It's it's basically you, you know, guys are talking, but there's one thing that you guys are forgetting: uh-huh. the comfort, the feel, yeah. the, 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 the comfort. The, the, you know, in fact, this this car carries some simplistic yes. design that is very, you know, it does not show. Don't you see their Mazda? Mm. They look good, but Mazda, Mazda na tofauti ya Mazda na Maxx ni jina. You know why? It 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 ikona the looks are too extreme. Yes. So if you're a mature I'm not saying Mazda owners are immature. I'm not saying so, yes. but kama hupendi ku shout. Like you are alluding. No, I'm not alluding. Mm. I'm saying if you don't want to shout your presence, yes. unataka watu wa kuheshimu venye uko. Yes. This is the car. I Very subtle, you. even interior, yeah. simple. Kwanza unaona venye infotainment ina flash mzuri. Simple, some few design cues hapa na pale kama hii ni wooden finish kind of. I've seen the ones that look cheap, but this one doesn't look cheap. It does not look cheap. <laughs> That's the thing. And then the other thing yes. is the build quality of this car. Exactly. Subaru for a very long time has had, in fact, it's renowned for having very well built bodies. Yes. And this is where this car really shines. You're it right. is very well built. Yes. Extremely well. One thing I've noticed too, uh, we, we've sat in a tensor. Yeah. And we are sitting in this Subaru. Yes. I want you to look at the visibility of a driver, like the openness, the view. The view. The view. Mazda's you have a blind spot. You have a blind spot. A very big blind spot on the on the A pillar. Yes, I feel like I'm sitting in an open space that I can access any viewpoint on this car and I can see anything. And for me as a driver, that's a plus. That's a plus. That That's is a, a plus. plus. That is a plus. You know, ile kitu wana itanga jackpot. Hii ni piga jackpot hii. Hii ni jackpot. Yes. You see the face. The yes. face pale mbele. Mm. There's something appealing about the Mazda. But no. But in terms uh, of everything else, true. In a car fit. Sikatai Mazda in a car fit. But it depends with character. Can you know once you attack one ounce that you mefika? Wanna be. Yes. The Mazda will look good. Yes. But this one is very mature and subtle. And subtle. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to announce if your you arrival, announce your arrival buy, buy the Mazda. Buy the Mazda. But if, if you, you want, want to arrive and then guys are like, "Hey, who buy him say we bazu?" This is this the car. Bazu mefika. Exactly. Yes. Anyway, let's let's do, let's a do the 0 to 100. Yes. yes. See how this car especially because it has an electronic uh, CVT. Yes. But I'm going to do something. Yes. I will uh, I'm going to launch it with uh, Sports Sharp. Yes. That is the only way we are going to do this car justice. I don't want to discuss uh-huh. what the Mazda Atensa diesel did yes. in some specific yeah. event. Yo, by the way, in, you know those guys were in some event. In some event. At Mazda, <laughs> ee, it was smoked one. Mm. Ee, it, was was like it, yeah. it was nyamwad like <laughs> it was eaten. <laughs> it was eaten raw. Are you ready? No, yeah. you so belt up, <laughs> safety first. <laughs> <laughs> then I want to shift to sports shop. Okay, that is where everything happens tight. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> so I'm go. Uh, yeah. You ready, bro? So ngoja. Ngoja so, kwanza. Le, uh, with, let the road clear. Clear. Then symmetrical all wheel drive. Active. That's Active. Helping. Okay, in the launch, definitely. Yeah, okay. You ready, bro? Yes. In one, two, three, go. Woo! That was a nice. That was a nice kicker. Four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. Hit me when you get to 108. Yes. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 100. 13.44. Okay, can we do it again with uh, with um, it's shifting itself? Yes, yes. Oh, you are you are shifting? Yes, I was shifting. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. In one, two, three. Hey. Okay, in <laughs> one, two, three, go. Woo! Hey. Tell me when you hit 100. We are at 40. Whoa, it's, he- it's holding up those revs. Tell me when you hit 100. Uh, cup, 100. 13.03. Oh! I can shift very well. Thirteen point zero three. So your manual shifting is actually very good. Really, yeah, you tried. <laughs> <laughs> but now what I feel is yes. the difference between you shifting manually yeah. and the car shifting by itself. Yes. It was picking up the revs to the top levels yes. while you are trying to be safe on it. Yes. So you'll shift before it before it, it hits. actually gets there. Yes, but when you let it do it herself, mm-hmm. can I hold these revs back at you? So we can say comfortably, I think it can be a sub-13 car. It's a sub-13 car. And also, uh, the other thing is, 
Um, there are so many factors at play here. Yeah? Yes, yes. Nganga with a D is Nganga heavy. Nganga with a D is very heavy. <laughs> and he's at the back. Yeah. yeah. Bugwa is also not very light. Light. Yes. Okay, yes. Don't, don't don't forget about the weight. So, yes. sub 13, Mark X, DD team? 11.74. Yeah. Okay. 11.74. Yes. Yes. Hey, that was fast. That was fast. Two but seconds. Mark X, 2.5 cc. Na eight, I have an automatic gearbox. These are two point five liter CVT. 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 So I think the CVT here is the problem. And the CVT is the problem <laughs> because but we can't launch the CVT as hard as, as, hard as automatic. Yeah. Definitely, the CVT. But is the basically, problem. acceleration might be slow, which yes. is not slow. Remember, yes. there are cars that we respect that have done poorer than that. You're right. You know. You're very right. Anyway, let's let's talk about the team score. Yes. Uh, let's start with the guest. Nganga with a D. Yep. Out of ten. Out of ten. And compared to the Mazda Tenza. So, eight. Eight out of ten. Yes. That's a good score. Mbugwa? Uh, an eight also. An eight. Uh, solid eight. Uh -huh. has done an eight. For me, I'll give it a 9.5. For me, I'll give it a 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll give, laughs> and the reason why, the only problem, yes. the only, pro, the, the only place the it loses the five, the yes. 0 0.5, it's is because this. of the CVT transmission. Exactly. Yeah, so it's basically a good car. And the handling, yes. uh, thanks to Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, Definitely it handles very well. Yes, yeah, and it's an all-wheel drive. Yeah, and it's very stable because of the boxer engine. Perfect. If you give me a choice between this uh, and the Atenza, the Atenza, I'll take this one any day in time. I'll also take any this one. day, What's any time. Me? I don't care whether the Atenza is a diesel. I'm, <laughs> <the> petrol. I'm <laughs> telling I'm still you, you I will take this one. No, I'll take this one as well. No, no, no we, we are together. This one. This one. So Bugua, Bugua, you're the Atenza guy. The Atenza guy. Bogo needs to be seen when he's alive. Yes, yes, yes Bogo again. Bogo ni mikijana. bado moto. In fact, the new Subaru boys are Mazda Tenza owners. Oh, oh, situ edele. Tumalize kazi. Tumalize kazi. So we sign out. We sign out, bado. Um, let guys join you as you give them uh, yeah, the, the value for money segment. Value for money. Sawa, sawa. Perfect. Okay. Let's get to the most important segment of this review, and that is the value for money segment. Now, these days with about 2 million uh, Kenya shillings, you, what you can get is not a very fancy vehicle. However, this car is priced at uh, 2 million Kenya shillings. The Mazda Tenza petrol is slightly above 2 million Kenya shillings. Well, the diesel one, which has proven to be a bit unreliable, and also, okay, if you need to live with it reliably, you have to do a couple of things like DPF delete and uh, some other software updates on the car so that you can make it, you can make Africa habitable for that car. But for the Subaru uh, Legacy BN series, what is here is a package and uh, an element of reliability. However, the Mazda Tenza petrol is also very reliable. But, you know, the pricing is almost absurd. In fact, we can say that Mazda is the new Toyota. Yeah, I don't know why guys are really rushing to add. So if you want to stand out and be unique, for 2 million Kenya shillings, looking at what this car has to offer, it is the ultimate deal for a sedan because most of the other sedans above it are above the 2 million Kenya shillings mark. So do tell us in the comments, what do you think about this particular car? Would you buy the Subaru Legacy um, BN uh, series? Uh, is it better than the BR and the BM? The wagon version of the before this one, the, I mean the saloon version before this one was the BM series, which I think, I, I didn't like how it looked, but this one, the BN, it looks, I, I reckon it looks very good. It's a car that can beat the Atenza in terms of styling because this one is subtle, it's refined. Yeah, it's, it's, and it has a very mature design. So do tell us in the comments, what do you think about this car? Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and, and Instagram. Also, if you want to, in, to interact with me at a personal level from eight to five, uh, holla, holla at me, uh, my social media handles, Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And now, tafadhali, mkumbuke ku subscribe to the channel to mefika 100K subs, but we still need to go on and on and on. And thank you so much for you guys supporting this channel. Over and out, guys, to one another next review.